where we're situated here in Western Kenya, we have uh, the largest burden of malaria in the country. In fact, some of the pockets that we have here, the areas that have the highest prevalence um, in the world. So our research is centered around development of new mosquito control products, um, such as we just completed a, a very successful trial of, the sp of spatial repellent devices, which are devices when, which are placed inside of the house, and they create this air that is toxic to mosquitoes. The main study that I guess we've been involved in have, has been in, in collaboration with um, professors Nicola Che and um, John Greco. This is actually a very critical study because this study um, um, is it's what's known as a randomized control trial. So it's a large trial done in an area where you have a huge enough burden of disease. So we did this trial in an area called Busia. There are pockets of the county where kids are getting as many as 8 to 10 infections per year. So literally 10 out of 12 months this child is sick with malaria. So it's very, very intense transmission. And so what we did um, was we went to this area, we mapped out the area and then selected uh, 60 villages, 60 what we call clusters, randomized part of them to receive special repellents and the other bit not to receive special repellents, and monitored children over time, over a two-year period. And ended up getting malaria much uh, later, so there was delayed transmission of malaria for those children. And what that overall tells us is that special repellents was actually effective in this population at reducing uh, the incidence of malaria transmission. And so the results of that study has now been submitted to, uh, to the WHO Vector Control Adversary Group. And they have actually um, been able to ratify the results. They have declared that that study did actually demonstrate a public health impact. What Kenya has gone ahead and done as a country is it's now started developing uh, the national guidelines for scale up of spatial repellents and that's something we're very excited about. Before people could go to bed early because they are bed nets to protect again from being bitten by mosquitoes but now they can just sleep late in the evening because the product is it's allowing them, it's protecting them against the vector. You need to take a key kele when the road. Okay. She's thankful that the product is here and she would, yeah, given a chance that all the homes should have the product so that everybody has the same feeling. The research that we do is not just research that is done for the purpose of publications and, and, and getting promotions and getting grants. We do research that impacts directly on people's lives. The, the research that we do will actually potentially in your lifetime, like, like now in my lifetime, end up um, creating an impact that actually changes a child's life, changes a mother's life, changes a family's life because um, you will contribute to a reduction in transmission of disease. The capacity building has been really immense, so that's something we're really grateful for. We've be really been able to get a large part of our group um, capacity built at Notre Dame and we hope that we're able to foster this collaboration and continue um, uh, building the capacity for local research here.